Hello everyone and welcome to our Saint Spotlight for this week. Today we are honoring the highest regarded saint in the world, Mary, the Mother of God. But we are going to do so with one of her Marian titles, Our Lady of Guadalupe. This is probably my favorite Marian image. I think it's okay to have a favorite Marian image, but if I can, it is definitely her. According to her story, Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared to a 57-year-old Mexican Indian peasant named Juan Diego in a series of apparitions. So the first time, she asked him to build a shrine in what is now Mexico City. Obviously, he needed permission from the bishop, and when he asked the bishop if he could build this shrine, the bishop actually demanded a sign before he could ever let it happen. So Mary appeared a second time to Juan Diego, and this is actually after Juan Diego's uncle had fallen ill, and she tells Juan to collect roses in his cloak. She tells him to go up in the middle of December to this hill and pick out roses. So he brings this cloak filled with all of these roses to the bishop and just lets the roses completely fall to the floor. And on this cloak of his, called the Tilma, actually remains this image of Mary, of Our Lady of Guadalupe. It's a beautiful image. The bishop was understandably shocked and let the shrine be built. And all the while, Juan Diego's uncle was actually healed. So there are lots of things I want to say about Our Lady of Guadalupe, but I will just focus on two. So first, this Marian title of Our Lady of Guadalupe is first and foremost a symbol of justice for many. She is the patroness of the Americas, but we're not talking about the Americas of the rich and the privileged. We are talking about um, the Americas, North and South America, for all of its glory. For the rich, the poor, everybody. So the church actually speaks about preferential option for the poor, where we should really be serving with the poor in mind in whether it's our policies, it's our work, anything, but Our Lady of Guadalupe showing herself to Juan Diego is such a concrete example of it. Mary came to Juan Diego, a peasant, and made it abundantly clear that her and Jesus stand with the poor and marginalized. Mary can, and does, come to anyone, even a man like Juan Diego who had no education. She's become a source of hope for many poor families, especially Hispanic Latino families. And this actually ties into my second piece, which talks about the way she appeared to Juan Diego. Now, a lot of times we see Mary as this white standard image of, a, you know, a woman. <laughs> um, but actually, Our Lady of Guadalupe is Mexican Indian, and it's the same nationality that Juan Diego is. She spoke the same language as him. She had the same customs as him. She met Juan Diego where he was at, in his native area, in language that he can understand, and this is what Mary does. Mary meets us where we are in our lives. That is the beauty of Marian titles, whether it's from Lourdes or Fatima or Mexico City. Mary has this diversity and comes and meets us where we are. So we actually have an Our Lady of Guadalupe portrait in the back left part of Holy Spirit's Church. So next time you're in our church, whenever that is, I'd like you to stand in front of the image and just ask her to pray for you. Whether this is concerning a social justice issue that you are particularly passionate about and want to make some next steps on, the health and safety of your friends. Just ask Mary to meet you where you're at, because she did the same for Juan Diego, so I'm sure she would love to do the same for you with her generous heart. Really anything is possible with Mary. So thank you for listening, and we will see you next time.